Today's activity is on rockets, and we'll be doing Science Aquarium with this one. It's a nice, simple project for kids, uh, simple materials. Down here, you'll notice they just have a pair of scissors, some tape, some pre-made fins, a pre-made nose cone for the kids to put on their rockets, and just a piece of paper to make the rocket with. What it is, is a air-propelled rocket that uh, fits over a pipe like this, and we make it right over the pipe and uh, the kids put on different kinds of fins, that's the questions they actually ask. So I'm gonna make one right here so we can show you how it works. So I just take ordinary paper and I use this half inch pipe because it's inexpensive. The pipe is actually the model for the rocket because it fits over the size of pipe we'll be pushing the air through. And take some plain old tape. So much of this isn't the rocket, but it's the experiment. And how kids are actually experimenting with this type of machine. And then you always have to show kids that when you push air through the pipe here, this rocket's not gonna go anywhere. It has to have pressure to push it off. So um, what we do is seal the end of the nose cone here with a nose cone. And I have these pre-cut for the kids. It's a little easier for them to do. And you just make a simple funnel out of it. And we'll tape on that. And then tape that to the nose to the end. And now you're probably wondering how he's going to actually launch. So uh, we use the same kind of pipe. There's different launching mechanisms I used. This one works really good. It's really just a uh, plain old pop bottle hooked to a hose and the same pipe on there. And the rocket fits over the pipe. You stomp on this and it goes flying. And this works, the bottles are only five cents, but they only last so long because they break. So I had another model here I used before. We actually use Handyman's Friend duct tape and it lasts for about 30 stomps that way. And when you push the air out of it and you blow it back up, blow it back up and it's all ready to launch again. Then I found at a garage sale a foot pump to an old raft. These are not very expensive at a garage sale, it's $5, but this fits on the end of the official rocket launcher we created here, and fits on here, and you can push this air out. And what's nice about this, I just made this in my garage, is that you can get the same angle every time. It's a little safer too that way, so the kids are always going out to some launching field out there. So much of this, like we said, is controlling those variables so kids can actually do the experiment. They're asking questions, that's what science is. And they put different types of fins and types of shapes to go launch their rockets. So you can see the kids actually do that now. Is this the window? Mm -hmm. Oh, very good, okay, okay. Okay, everybody away from the range here? Okay. Three, two, one. Whoa! Wow! Two, one. Oh, look at that! Oh, that was so cool. Okay, okay. Now look at this one. Look and see how that one's has. Oh, they're all flat with the fin on the top. Two, one. Oh, oh! It didn't go, yeah, it didn't go as far, but it had hang time. It was way up there. It had a lot of lift up there. Two, one. Oh, oh, that would have a nice spin to it there, too. This is cool. You'll notice the kids in the field, they're asking their own questions, and that's what you want them to do, to design their own experiment. We really don't need to know the answers. So that's, that's all the fun part in the field. The other part, too, you want to make sure you're being safe. Uh, I always have a launch zone out there for the kids, so we're, we're using this rocket launcher. There's always a place they try to stand behind and make sure, because these things you get going pretty fast and you don't want to get hit by one. Sometimes I have the kids wear goggles. It kind of adds that kind of sciencey look to it, too. It makes it feel more official. So. And then they collect data. On this tape here, we actually had the kids put out cones for tell how far they went. And, uh, and that's the question you need to ask too, is it how far or what the rocket does? That's what makes it interesting too. One group, we actually did a 4-H rocket report. 
and uh, on measuring distances here. So they went a certain amount of feet and certain number of fins they used. Some used two, some used four. Uh, and so we we're able to do some graphing and add a little math to this too. But just like any science project, it doesn't get any more important than the question. That's what makes it so great. And the main thing with all this too, is go out there and have fun. You don't need to know the answers because you learn together. That's what makes it so great.